Amid the ongoing U.S. government shutdown, NASA scientists are continuing to monitor the interstellar comet 3I Atlas, even as much of the agency's public communication remains paused. This week, NASA officials are preparing to brief Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, who formally requested new images and data to be released for public analysis. Meanwhile, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has renewed his call for transparency, citing fresh signs of brightening and non-gravitational motion after the comet's recent solar pass. Global observatories have launched a joint monitoring campaign through early 2026 to study the object's behavior as it recedes from the sun. Let's get started. Since its identification in mid-2025 as an interstellar visitor, 3I Atlas has moved steadily through the inner solar system, passing its closest point to the sun on October 29th. Around that time, astronomers recorded a sudden surge in brightness, suggesting intense outgassing as sunlight struck previously shadowed ices. Spectral data hinted at brief jets of water vapor, carbon compounds, and trace metals venting into space. While these phenomena are normal for comets, what caught scientists' attention was the pattern of the acceleration, not fully consistent with models of uniform outgassing. The object's motion showed small, irregular shifts, prompting researchers to refine its orbit and rotation models. Such deviations are not evidence of anything artificial, but they provide valuable insight into how interstellar material behaves under solar radiation. Despite the federal shutdown, NASA's internal teams at the Goddard Space Flight Center and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory have maintained essential tracking. A briefing with Representative Luna was scheduled to discuss upcoming data releases and to reassure Congress that monitoring continues uninterrupted. Luna's office confirmed that the request came in coordination with a Harvard scientist, understood to be Avi Loeb, who has been pressing for open access to the newest images. At the same time, the European Space Agency and several university-run observatories have joined the observation network. The object is now roughly 300 million miles from Earth and fading, but high-sensitivity telescopes can still collect spectra to determine how its coma, the gas and dust envelope, evolves as solar heating diminishes. This phase is crucial. The comet's outward trajectory and changing light curve will help researchers model its density, spin rate, and internal composition. Those data will feed into the International Asteroid Warning Network's campaign, running from November 2025 through January 2026, which aims to build the most complete data set yet on an interstellar body before it vanishes back into deep space. The renewed attention on 3I Atlas isn't simply because it's rare, it's because it represents a living laboratory for testing theories about how planetary systems exchange material. Spectroscopic measurements indicate that its ice and dust share similarities with comets from our own Kuiper belt, yet some ratios, pyrethamins, particularly carbon to oxygen and nitrogen bearing compounds, appear distinct. These differences suggest it likely formed in a colder, more distant protoplanetary disk, perhaps around a small, faint star. Understanding those details could refine models of how water and organics migrate across the galaxy. If 3I Atlas contains isotopic ratios outside solar system norms, it would confirm that the chemical diversity between stellar systems is broader than previously thought. An important clue for theories of panspermia and early planet formation. The comet's irregular acceleration remains a technical point of discussion. Most researchers attribute it to asymmetric venting from the nucleus, possibly caused by uneven layering or rotation. But a few anomalies persist. Loeb and his colleagues argue that the physics behind such motion should be investigated without bias, not because it implies artificial design, but because understanding unexpected forces can expose new natural processes. NASA and the European Space Agency have reiterated that the available data show no evidence of anything other than a natural comet. Still, they agree that its behavior warrants extended observation. 
This measured approach contrasts with the divided public reaction following the discovery of Oumuamua in 2017, when limited data allowed speculation to outpace evidence. What makes this event different is the level of coordination. More than a dozen research institutions are sharing real-time observations through the International Asteroid Warning Network. The campaign involves professional and amateur astronomers alike, aiming to collect data across multiple wavelengths, visible, infrared, and radio, to map gas emissions, dust density, and compositional shifts as the comet cools. Already, Preliminary data hint that the object's composition may evolve as it moves away from the sun, possibly developing a faint ion tail. If confirmed, that would mark the first time such behavior has been recorded in an interstellar comet with this level of precision. Each dataset brings scientists closer to determining whether comets like 3I Atlas are common messengers from other star systems or rare fragments ejected under exceptional conditions. The events surrounding 3I Atlas show how space science and public policy increasingly intersect. Congressional interest in a single comet would once have seemed unlikely, yet the growing conversation about transparency in space data has made such oversight inevitable. Representative Luna's involvement underscores a new political awareness that discoveries beyond Earth have both scientific and cultural resonance. NASA has stated that all data collected during the shutdown will be publicly released once normal operations resume. The briefing with lawmakers is expected to outline how such interstellar detections fit into long-term strategies for planetary defense and scientific collaboration. At the same time, the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, responsible for analyzing unidentified aerial or space phenomena, issued a brief clarification. 3I Atlas is fully identified and poses no security concerns. The mention was procedural, but it highlights the structured communication now used to prevent confusion between scientific events and speculative narratives. Internationally, the observation campaign now underway is being coordinated through the European Space Agency and the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. The goal is to continue tracking 3I Atlas until it becomes too faint to detect, using instruments across both hemispheres to build a continuous timeline of its evolution. Data will include measurements of its polarization, a property that reveals particle size and structure in the dust cloud, helping scientists estimate how the comet formed. The broader community is already looking ahead to the next generation of surveys. When the Vera C. Rubin Observatory begins full operations, it will scan the entire sky every few nights with sensitivity high enough to detect many more interstellar visitors. Astronomers expect that events like 3I Atlas could become annual, rather than once-in-a-decade phenomena. That shift would transform these fleeting encounters into a new research field. Comparative Studies of Interstellar Comets each future discovery will add statistical weight to models of galactic dynamics, showing how fragments are ejected from planetary systems and how often they pass near stars like ours. For now, 3I Atlas continues on its outbound path, faint but still measurable. Within months, it will slip beyond the reach of most telescopes, leaving behind terabytes of data and a clearer picture of how the Milky Way's systems exchange matter across vast cosmic distances. E3I, I Atlas is fading from view, but the data it leaves behind will shape how we study interstellar visitors for years to come. It has connected scientists, lawmakers, and observatories in a rare global effort of discovery. Another reminder that even across light years, our solar system is never truly alone.